Hello everyone, and welcome back to my underwater paradise here in Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, we've got all the equipment that we need to get started in the game now since we uh, played the first time around. We've got our sea glide, we've got some oxygen tanks and stuff. Got some flippers and knives and scanners and a little bit of food and what have you as well. Uh, this decomposing cooker boomerang probably not going to do me any good, so I'm going to get rid of that thing. But uh, what I'd like to do today is go out and see if we can find ourselves the... Uh, the Twisty Bridges area. So we did get a communication from there that we need to try to find. Um, now, I have no idea where that is exactly. Uh, but we're going to try and explore around and see if we can locate that. Uh, I do have this beacon thing here. I don't really want that. This flare. I don't really need that. Same thing with this healing. Put this down here. Very good. Uh, so we have the sea line available. I probably should, uh, if I'm going to be traveling around with this thing for any period of time... I probably should consider having a spare battery on me also, so maybe I should make one of those before we go. Um, we did have a chance to kind of explore around and find a variety of things in the area and some, uh, you know, a few resources and that sort of thing, but oh, I need uh, ribbon plants. It's funny how sometimes, like, you have to tab to get out of some menus and escape to get out of, in, out of others. Uh, I only have one ribbon plant so far, so we'll take that. we got to get one more. I'd like to have at least one spare battery on me because if we get down deep somewhere... And I need to move around quickly. It would be really bad not to have the ability to do so. And I'd have to just go back to regular swimming, which, you know, would be less than optimal. So the twisty bridges are going to be those kind of things. Uh, but there's going to be a whole bunch of them. I'm just not sure exactly where they are in relation to our, our starting drop point. Uh, so it's going to take a little exploring to find those. Um, I would like to get a compass maids, which would help with, uh, help with guidance and stuff. And the compass is something that we do have unlocked. But unfortunately, it requires a wiring kit, and the wiring kit requires silver. And I haven't found any nodes that, uh, that give up silver just yet. Uh, so it kind of rules that out. Um, all right, so I have the two herbs. I need, um, like, one more copper, maybe? I should probably leave behind things like titanium and stuff so I can collect things while I'm out exploring around, too. Oh, I only need one copper, I guess. All right, so we have a spare battery. That'll do. Um, let's get rid of everything in here we can drop off. I don't need all this titanium. It serves no purpose while I'm swimming around. I probably should have used the salt deposit to preserve the fish I had, but what are you going to do? We have food and water. We're all set. Uh, it is starting to get to be towards nighttime now, though, but I think this thing does have a light on it. Uh, we can turn the map on and off. So the map will actually give us like a sense of like what's in the immediate area around us. So you can see like the shape of things a little bit. Which can be handy, but it's also not necessarily that clear. So it's kind of hard to understand sometimes what it's showing. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I guess we'll just go and explore around, see what we can find. And hopefully we can discover the area where the Twisty Bridges is. And then we've got to go down about 200 meters. And hopefully uh, 200 meters down is not going to cause a problem for us in terms of... Uh, you know, the too, being too deep and having trouble breathing. Ooh, what is this? I found a little entrance here. There's something down here. This looks like an escape pod of some sort, but it's all been, like, destroyed by something. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Oh, yeah, we need to scan that. Oh, boy, it's a whole... Big, the whole thing. A sea monkey nest. Aha! Okay, so the sea monkeys are these horrible little thieves down here. And we did come across something where they said that they had st stolen things and probably taken it to their nests. And it sure seems to be that way. Uh, unfortunately, they're not down here right now. Well, Terra misplaces one, kilo uh, one kilometer seconds. Captain Ship Aurora. Aurora. All right. Um, what are these things? Calvary knockup. Chance of gold. Uh, I'm not sure what I got there. Just titanium. Titanium, but these have a chance of gold, so that's something. I think that was gold there. Um, better swap this tank out. Oxygen. There we go. That gives me another 39 seconds worth. Wow, I don't know that I've ever been in here. Oh, actually, it was just like a short little tunnel. 30 seconds. Thank you for the bonus oxygen. Very much appreciated. Okay, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for those things. As we get deeper down, we're going to need that, that oxygen supply. Was that silver ore? Oh, it was silver ore. Wow, sweet. Okay, I need that for the wiring kit so we can get ourselves a compass. I gotta keep an eye out for more of those, uh, more of those oxygen things I can grab too, because we're gonna need that. What is this? Sea glide fragment, I think. Thirty seconds. Oh man, where's another one of those uh, plant things? It's. I start to panic about the whole oxygen thing down here. Sea truck fragment. Oh sweet. 
Okay, good. Let's grab this over here. Give me another little boost of oxygen. Oxygen plant depleted, but it'll recharge. We'll get some more. Uh, we do need to find another one still, though. I think this is the Twisty Bridges area, by the looks of it. It actually wasn't that far away. 30 seconds. I know. Give me the... Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, so even at 100 meters, we have lowered, lower oxygen efficiency. Uh, there is a thing we can get that lets us dive down deeper. Which would really help to have right now, because uh, I'm consuming oxygen at a much higher rate. Oh, what have we here? There's a supply platform over here. Med kit, that'll come in handy. Uh, water can't hurt either. I wonder if there's uh, anything I can scan here. I can't scan the platform or anything, so that rules that out. 30 seconds. That's not scannable either. Alright. Oh, what is that? I should probably be careful I don't get electrocuted by this thing. But that looks like uh, like a mobile vehicle platform or something of some sort. Or like a dive cage. I don't recall ever seeing this in the game before, so it must be something they've added in new. Oh, get up here. Uh, supply crates. Oh, habitat builders. Nice! Alright, we can scan the desk. Alright, so we can actually build things now underwater. Not that I have all that many things I can build. Grab the PDA. Fauna research. Species identification has proven a valuable tool in making the Arctic sustainable for continued habitation. Many species have evolved to thrive in this mineral-rich Arctic air, uh, environment with unique mutations. Further studies should be uh, should hold untold knowledge and scientific breakthroughs. It must be cold out here. I'm, I can't really see my breath. Uh, I can't scan whatever that thing is, so that's a non-starter. Their flare. All right, nothing left I can scan over here. Aren't they cute little guys? So it's interesting, they got this dive cage here, but it's broken open. And there's a wire there that's like shocking stuff, so... I don't know, I feel like maybe it got like smashed by some critter. Weird. Oh! Something here, this should give us another plan of some sort. Uh, new blurb that synthesized the planner or the scanner room, rather. Well, we actually get to the point of actually building things that'll come in handy, I guess. Nice titanium nodes and stuff. Oh, sweet! There's another platform down here. Yeah, I know. Give me something good. Oh, jeez! Get me out of here! <laughs> what the heck was that? Some kind of like a shark sort of thing. Can I scan you? Don't eat me! I'll be good. Just let me scan you. 30 seconds. Brute shark. Scared the heck out of me. Alright, let's go get some oxygen. Wow, another platform down here with another set of plans and more sharks. 30 seconds. I know. I haven't seen any. Oh, there's an oxygen plant right there. Good. I was going to say, I haven't seen any of those in a little bit. What do we got here? Give me something good. Rebreather. That is amazing. That's what I needed. I couldn't remember what it was called. The rebreather will let me dive deeper. Oh, oh right there is the alien seconds. artifact. Okay. Um, I know I only have 30 seconds, but I needed it. Approaching alien sanctuary. Yep, Altera I know. requests you take care not to damage the artifacts. So how do I launch this thing? There we go. All right, beacons out. I gotta go. Switch tanks. Okay, so I've got the beacon there. Um, so I should be able to find that again, but I'm gonna swim all the way up here. We'll go back to our base. We'll get the rebreather so I don't uh, I don't suffer the oxygen loss. We'll get the high capacity tanks, and that will make a significant difference in how long we can stay down below. Ooh, what is this? Another sea truck fragment. Nice. I'm not sure if it's three or four fragments I need to find to get the sea truck plans. Nice. Okay, so I think I actually got me all the fragments that I need in order to make the sea truck. Sweet. Not that I have the places to to be able to make the sea truck. I think I actually need like a mobile vehicle bay to be able to do that. Uh, and I don't have that yet. 
All right, perfect. I have two high-capacity oxygen tanks now, which should make a pretty significant difference. Uh, on the way back here, I actually also found the last fragment I needed for the mobile vehicle bay, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I should probably make some replacement batteries. Uh, let's see. Battery requires... Yeah, I should have enough here to make, like, two more replacement batteries for my sea glide, which would be great. Uh, I don't have a charger or anything for them, but I guess, like, as I use them up, I can just kind of discard them and... I don't know, become one of the, uh... Oh boy, I need a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I can be one of the uh, the litterers on this planet. Uh, so I'm going to need lubricant, titanium ingot, and computer chip. Now the titanium ingot uh, actually only requires 5 titanium. I thought it was actually 10 for that. So I have enough to make the ingot. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I have enough to make a... I don't think I have the stuff to make a computer chip. I, I need gold, copper, wire, and two table coral samples. Um, I don't have that right now, though. But I can't make the titanium ingot, so we'll get that ready. I'll drop that in storage. Uh, I'd like to make the sea truck as soon as possible, and we'll need the mobile vehicle bay in order to do that. But in the meantime, we'll just drop this off here. I can continue to hunt for... Um, uh, for gold and stuff down in the area we're going to try and find that, uh, that little precursor base sort of thing. Uh, I don't really need this so much. I have replacement batteries for... the sea glide, which will provide light for me. I don't want to carry lead, salt, all that could stay. Uh, I should chow down on this. Nope, keep that in there. Alright, let's have a snack. Uh, I'm gonna need some water. Actually, I'm gonna need more water. We'll catch some bladder fish. I'll make some water bottles and then we'll head down to our beacon there and see if we can figure out where this uh, precursor base is now that we have a good supply of oxygen to tide us over. And then the rebreather, of course, which will help a lot with uh, managing the managing the depth. And I'm really glad I grabbed that beacon when I was finding when I found that supply cache because it's made finding these uh, this alien artifact area again really really easy. Just swim straight to it. It's awesome. Uh, what is this? There's a couple things sitting down here actually. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. I already did all find all the pieces I need for the mobile vehicle bay, so this is giving me titanium. But I guess I can use that. Grab that quickly. Oh, get out of here, shark! Oh, man, you know what? Nothing's just it's gotta go. I can't scan this thing. Um, all right, so I'm guessing we've got to go... Oh, what's this? Another propulsion cannon fragment. Sweet. Just stock it up on the fragments down here. Okay, so... I gather we're going to follow, like, a trail of these things. Um, let's get some more oxygen down here before I go... Oh. All right. I guess I had to go this way anyway. Maybe. I mean... Oh, what's that? Oh! Crash fish! No, no, no! Man, even with this thing, I cannot swim fast enough. That's crazy. Eat those things. Crystalline sulfur. All right, we'll take it, I guess. Oh, this is the thing that has a chance of gold. Nice. More oxygen. Give me the gold. I need it. Nice, more gold. Yes, give me all the gold. Wow, yeah, gold and silver. Well, okay. Um, so we have another another artifact post here. There's another one down over here. I kind of wish I'd picked up my beacon, but by the same token. It's handy having it back there, so if I have to find my way here, I can again. What's that noise? Oh, we found it! The entrance to the precursor base that's down here. It's making like some weird staticky noise. Oh, what is that? Sanctuary power critical. Searching for emergency storage medium. Doesn't appear to be aggressive. Oh, we can scan it. Alien robot. Tab, what do we got on this thing? This device is of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Purpose, its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. 
Despite its simple design, the construction is quite elegant in its minimalism, so it didn't really tell me anything. Assessment. Immobilize and return to Altera for mutual profit. Oh! So they want me to smoke the thing and then bring it back with me. You know, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't really want to risk fighting that thing. It might be tougher than it looks. There's a cool cave. Human, turn back. Human, turn Why? back. Why? You were sent here to harness me. I will destroy you first. Oh, that's not good. You're not sure of my intentions. Are you afraid? I am all powerful. I came here because I'm curious about your people. It sounds like you're in trouble. My storage medium is failing. You're dying. I am considering my options. Storage medium found. What does that mean? Storage capacity was identified on your person. Where? On my PDA? Hello? That yeah, was super vague. Right, so cool alien facility inside some weird underwater cave. Check. I got another one of those robot guys over here, by the sounds of it. So if those things are here to repair stuff, how come this is all broken down? Thought there might be something scannable here, but not so much. All right, let's go back and we'll check out what's inside this part of the building. That's right, you leave me be. Ooh, what is this? Ion cube, let's scan that puppy. Ion Cube, this green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Uh, likely grown artificially, cubic appearance suggests it's been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT. <laughs> Valuable energy source, all right. So, I think they, I'm pretty sure they have this kind of stuff in, uh, oh, there's another one over here, nice. Thank you for the free energy sources. Uh, I think they have this in the first Subnautica as well. Ion energy. It's expensive to make, but very cool. This is where you're stored, isn't it? Presently, yes. A digital backup to save you in case of disaster. It has worked until now. My data can be downloaded from the terminal. Is that what you'd like? I have hours to live. I may not like it now, but I will appreciate it later. I'm taking that as a yes. Hours to live, huh? That sounds great. Insert storage medium. I hope this works. Storage medium accepted. Wait, what? Rot bro. <laughs> so it turns out it wasn't my PDA they had in mind for the storage. Cortex. You're in my head. <laughs> I, I am also surprised. Pretty sure. Is it reversible? I hope so. Sanctuary power failed. But not from here. Damn it. I will find a way. With the processing power available, it may take some time. I will <laughs> you when I exit hibernation. This is exactly why we have protocols. I think this thing just called me stupid. It said I have low processing power. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we've got an, uh, we've got our own little alien on board. I need a little baby on board sticker for the back of my wetsuit now. All right, I don't think there's anything else we can find in here. It's all uh, pretty much all uncovered at this point. Um, all right, so I want to head back and we can start uh, getting set up for the, 
building the mobile vehicle bay. That'll be pretty handy so we can build ourselves a fancy sea truck. And we'll have to see what this, uh, what this computer voice or whatever in my head comes up with for a new storage uh, option. Home sweet home, such as it is. There's not really a lot in here. I kind of need to do a little bit of Your building, maybe. And nope. I'm still processing our situation. All right, well that's good. Some memory data was lost in the download process. Yours or mine? I cannot recall. I will hibernate. Wait, what's your name? We do not use words that way. I had a pet barwall once. I called him Ketchup. Ketchup. Don't make me name you too. You may append your seed code to the species designation. You may call me Al Aran. I waited my whole life to meet a spacefaring alien. You're telling me your name is Alan. Is it insufficient? No. No, Al Aran. It's perfect. I will let you when I have more information. Well, welcome to my brain, Alan. Uh, I have the ingot, I have the computer chip, I just need lubricant now, which I think uh, takes one of these. And store these things in here. I'm gonna need more storage space, I'm running out of room. Alright, lubricant, yes, excellent. Okay, we have all the stuff we need to make the mobile vehicle bay. That should be really handy, let's, uh... Oh, I dropped the ingot, it's in here. Excellent. Okay. Mobile vehicle bay, and then onto the sea truck, which will give us the ability to dive down relatively deep. I mean, deeper than I can go just by regular swimming, and the best part is I don't have to worry about, like, suffocating when I'm doing it. Release the vehicle bay. Um, I guess I gotta put this, you know, put that there. Or... I think it automatically floats up to the surface, but I want to make sure I've got it over an area that's deep enough that... There we go, because it drops the vehicle in the water. I wonder if it'll drop it on an iceberg on me. That would really suck. Welcome aboard the vehicle bay. All right, vehicles, sea truck. Okay, so this is going to take a titanium ingot, an advanced wiring kit, two glass, three lead, and a power cell. The power cell I don't have. I don't even know if I have the ability to make those things yet. Everything else I can make. But that, I don't think, is an option just yet. Let's go look. I mean, it might be in the electronics area, but I don't think it is yet. I might have to uncover that still. Uh, let's see. Electronics. Oh, I can make a power cell. Two batteries and silicone rubber. That's actually not that hard. Um, I need a wiring kit, I think. Or was it? No, it was the advanced wiring kit. So I need a regular wiring kit and another computer chip. Which will require more coral. Alright, we got a few things to gather. Awesome. Well, we have a hitchhiker in my brain, but we did manage to get down to that alien base and stuff, and I found the pieces to make a truck, and we just kind of kind of gather all the resources to make it. We'll make that uh, the next time we come back, that we can head down a little bit deeper and explore a little bit farther. So we uh, we went into the uh, the uh, the Twisty Bridges area. That was actually relatively easy to find. I was glad that cropped up like right away, but I haven't really explored in too many other directions. But once we have the sea truck, that'll be a whole lot easier to do that. Uh, thanks everyone for checking out the video. And when we come back next time, hopefully we'll get a sea truck, do a little cruising around. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.